Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. It is D-Day, the mowers are going on. George is just going to fuel up, just got to move that weight block. We've got plenty to get on with. We sure yesterday, so we got to hit the wall to the wall board. Oh, it's going to be a busy one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and obviously guys, if you haven't already, please do check out the merch store. It really does support the channel. Mower's on now to get the wall delivered to the wall board. We find if we don't go and take it, it sits around forever. So, gonna get it gone while I've got a free minute this morning. There are nine bags we got yesterday from all of them. We still have to shear the bee flock, so they're gonna be done in July once we get back from our honeymoon. And then we've got plenty more has been going on over the last couple of days. Now, just gotta do paperwork as everything in farming seems to. Uh, can compromise the paperwork. Each one of these bags needs a label of its breeding and then we need to put all our details for the whole load. Paperwork sorted and really healthy snacks. So yeah, that is mowing well underway. Hopefully later on this week, you'll see some baling and wrapping action. That is actually the second lot of haylage this year. They did have a go at one field, but I was away when they bailed it. So you missed out on that, but this is a proper first go at haylage and we have a decent week ahead. Touch wood. Uh, we've had a busy week indeed. We've got the border Leicesters. We got them um, wormed and weaned. We took our first lot of fat lambs yesterday after shearing has gone. So those 10 lambs that we picked out last week, they have gone. The final thing I have been on with that you haven't seen yet, I went off to Free Counties show and did a little talk for Howard and Rural, which are great sponsors to the channel. If you haven't already, check them out. But yeah, spoke a bit about the sheep and YouTube. Now, the next job, we 
hydraulics are let down on that, so that's okay. We need to drop this roller off and we need to do a bit of shunting around the trailers. Dad is obviously mowing his saw before, but we've got a few trailers in one of the fields he wants to get cut and get mown. So we've got to have a little bit of shunt around this. There's probably about six, seven trailers that need moving that are all in the way. Well, we have got three bogies. There and up there. And then we have got the water, water bowser at the top of the field for when the tucks are in that field. And it looks like, I think it's set of chisel plow. I don't know why it is, it's in the grass there. The problem is sometimes we don't have enough space to put places, so just get left in field and forgotten about until they need to shift the next time. Well, this needs a little bit more swing on it than our trailer. We're just shifting this into the field that we've already mown, which thankfully is literally there. So I've been a lorry driver. Uh, handy thing with a dolly. Can turn them a bit better. One down, a few more to go. starts growing out well we have a slight issue you don't really get this with bogies but that there is the eye and I can't get under that with the hitch so I'm gonna get the load or pull it up twist it over and pop up That'll do the job. Out of the ground and she's on. So now a few of the things just blown off this trailer in the winter. It's a bit of a storage kind of trailer, aka rubbish dump. It's literally a farmer's trailer. All those things you keep that you might need. So just chuck a few of these things back on. Then we can drop it off. To the next job. Now, this just sums up board Leicesters all together. Come on, mate. There we go. Nah. Now for a quick non-farming job. There you go. Now onto a bit more sheep action. So you saw these last week when we pulled the fat lambs out. They've grown again. Sky said she couldn't believe how much they've grown, could you? Yeah. So what we're doing now. Obviously, all these at the moment are on coarse mix. We don't want the ewe lambs on coarse mix. They can just be on grass. So I'm going to shed them. Ewe lambs, tops are going straight back in the field. And then, hopefully, maybe after this or tomorrow, we are going to wean the bee flock and get the lambs off them and put them in here. So this will be the fattening field, one of these paddocks, and the ewe lambs are going to go over there, away from these, split off just on grass. The reason we're not using the decks is because we're only going to need to do three loads. We'd get them all on two loads, but it's taking that much time to put the decks in, and we're only Thank driving you, two minutes away. Seems daft. And that is the bee flock in. So, final job of the day, we are weaning these. They are well at weight, as sure. Was it this video? No, last video. I can't remember. 
these were averaging 29 kilos each last week so plenty heavy enough to wean we work off to 25 kilos so let's get it done um the time is going on there's about 80 of these to go so we've got two trailer loads to take up to where the a flock will in obviously they've been moved now because of shearing so these are taking their place nice dry bit of ground with not a lot of goodness in should help dry the bags up What a great way to end the video. Josie, push him, push him. She's just gonna push him back down there towards the field and that is us done. Massive thank you for watching today. Really appreciate it. As always, if you did, please don't forget to like, subscribe.